Well, I started playing guitar when I was about nine, and I didn't really like have a music taste uh, before that, I guess. I was listening to like, in the UK at least, you used to get these albums that were called Now Whatever, like Now 26, Now 27 or whatever. So I was kind of like, you know, like a seven, eight year old kid listening to these trashy pop multi albums or whatever. And I was just like hearing all this kind of, I mean, I guess the songs were good, but it was kind of trashy. So I went into my brother's room and uh, I just basically took his stack of CDs off, off his, his desk. And in that stack of CDs, it was like uh, Rage Against Machine, Evil Empire, um, Rage, Battle of LA. He had Pumpkins, uh, Melancholy, he had Nirvana, Nevermind, Bleach. He had Deftones, Adrenaline. It was Zero by Pumpkins that was like, like when I heard that, my brain exploded. I'm gonna play Zero right now, badly. Bear in mind, I'll play it very badly. I need a strap, but I don't have one. Something really cool about that. I don't know, something about that and then the. Wanna go for a ride? You know, I don't know. That's cool. And that Deftones song, I mean, these are basically the only two riffs I, I know. Probably playing that wrong. Particularly that, I mean, that Deftones riff is so strange. Like, all those notes are really weird to me, like, uh, like pairing them all together. It's not like when you'd hear like a Bon Jovi song or whatever, it's always like, it's all like major chords all the time. So let me get this in D. Oh shit, I can't use the tuner on this, can I? Vin, what do I do on the tuner? I'm a fucking pro, okay. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem to... I need to drop D it, but like, I have this robot thing on the side. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay, so, um, sorry. Well, one of the first riffs I wrote, I can't actually remember the first, first riff I wrote. But I know that one of the first kind of riffs or songs, I guess, that was riff based that I wrote was uh, off of Dinosaur Pilot's first album, uh, which is called My Rock and Roll, which the, the whole song is kind of chunky. Um, the verse is like. So it's kind of like, just kind of a chunky song. And then that had a riff in the middle that's just like a simple build up. Um, that's kind of that, I mean, it's so, so dumb, but like, I don't know, it felt good. I think it's a really good song too. Also one of the early ones is a song called Beach Bug. <laughs> Something like that. So when I was learning uh, originally, I did learn regular tuning. So when I was like learning guitar in the first place, I was like learning how to do, you know, all the proper chords. Like I still don't know the names of any of these. I think that's A. I think that's D. 
I'm in drop D, so that's not gonna work. That was G. <laughs> you know, whatever, that's E. So I learned like, I learned all the regular chords like you would play if you're in the Beatles or something. And I just felt like it, all of this had no power. Like, I don't know, it just didn't, like, didn't kick ass and didn't feel powerful or anything. So then I started to learn power chords. I remember I was, uh, like, I can't remember where the fuck I was, like Christmas or something, and there was like a family friend there, and he played guitar. And he was like, he mentioned power chords, and I was like, what's a power chord? And he was like, it's where you can play any chord anywhere on the guitar, and it'll always work. So I was like, well, that sounds ace, because it's easy. You don't have to like fuck around, like learning names and all these weird patterns, which I really struggled with. And also bar chords, because I was obviously little then, even though my hands are four times the size of it, they should be, but <laughs> like getting, getting your hand across to make a bar chord was like really difficult for me then, because I'd be like, like trying to, you know, when you're like learning, you like can't control your fucking hands or whatever. That's, I'm in the wrong tuning again. Anyway, so I was like, well, if I can get, have a way of playing guitar where I don't have to make these shapes and I don't have to, kill myself trying to make a bar chord, that's a win. So he taught me how to play, you know, just like standard, whatever, standard power chords and stuff. And that changed my life because then I could just play anything anywhere. And I was like over the moon. And then I found about drop D. And I can't remember how I found out about that. I think I was learning someone's song and I read a tab and it was just three dots in a line. I was like, well, that's even easier than like a power chord. It's literally just <laughs> grabbing the guitar any way you want. And it kind of sounds all right. Thrash metal cassette, we'll get to that in a moment. But what, thrash, what thrash bands was I listening to and what riffs did I learn from, from, from any of them? Metallica was obviously an, an, an obvious one. Like Metallica are great. And I, you know, I, I love most of their stuff, but I could never, I can never play like a thrash player. Like I never learned any thrash metal songs because usually the guitarists are way better than I was. Um, so I never really took any time to write or like learn any thrash. But then I ended up writing thrash metal as a kind of parody to thrash music in a way. Because as a thrash riff, like it's not particularly, you know, it's not particularly great. I mean, it's brilliant, but like, it's not like super fast or like super technical. It's like thrash for learners or whatever. So yeah, I didn't learn any thrash riffs, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so dinosaur pilot riffs, like thrash metal, I freaking love. Um, and the riff for that goes like this. <laughs> So the riff of back foot, um, I actually wrote in the shower. I write a lot of stuff in the shower because I feel like I write a lot of stuff in the shower and I like write a lot of stuff when I'm washing up, like washing the dishes, because I feel like when you're absent-mindedly thinking about, oh shit. <laughs> Hello? Let me continue. <laughs> so yeah, I think when you're like absent-mindedly doing stuff, you you can come up with really great stuff because your mind is kind of like free. You're not like constraining it by anything. You're not trying to do anything. You're just kind of like daydreaming. And sometimes I feel like that's actually really creative. So I was having a shower classically and I thought of, I just started singing that back foot riff, which is really as a riff is ridiculous, like kind of reminds me of Rage a little bit, but also it's kind of like, it's just such a ridiculous riff because it's, it's, I don't know, it's all over the place. Um. 
So that's it. But I thought of that in the shower, and I always have my phone there to record ideas just in case I think of ideas. So I recorded it because I was like, that's weird. And then I forgot about it for two days. And I kept on humming this annoying riff. And I was like, what is that? And I was like, shit, that's that, that riff I thought of. And the more I kind of sung it, I kept on hearing that vocal like rhythm that kind of goes over it. What's the most challenging riff for Don to follow? Um, <laughs> none of them are particularly challenging. <laughs> <laughs>